Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nutsack YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to upgrade your Windows 10 or Windows 7 into Windows 11. In one of my previous videos, I already showed you a trick to install Windows 11 using a Windows 10 installation image, which is able to bypass all limitation coming from the installation wizard. That video is especially helpful when you need to install Windows 11 to a bare bone machine. But if you already have a working Windows 10 or Windows 7 machine, the process could be much easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Microsoft official latest Windows 11 image and how to upgrade from your current working Windows 10 and Windows 7 machine to Windows 11. There's no any limitation coming from your hardware. Let's start it. This is my previous video which shows you how to fix Windows 11 minimum system requirement installation issue. If you haven't watched it, I would suggest you take a look, quick look. This show you another way how to install Windows 11. There's a different ways. This is just one of them. And today I'm going to show you another way to upgrade it from your existing working Windows environment to Windows 11. We cannot download Windows 11. There's a Microsoft download page. You can easily by choose Windows 11 and download it. You're going to choose the product language. Uh, mostly will be English. Confirm. Then you will get a download link. 64-bit download link and it's going to be valid for 24 hours so I already downloaded it so I'm not going to go into this step but I will show you after I downloaded how I upgraded it from existing Windows 10 to Windows 11 we will need this GitHub project's help there's a Windows 11 upgrade you download this small software of 400 k byte that gonna help us to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. I'm gonna using my VMware workstation to demonstrate the process. It's gonna be the same as you are using your physical machine. If we use a download image Windows 11 image, what we will get is uh, we are not meeting the requirement. We cannot going forward to install it. I'm going to quickly start the installation process and we're going to take a look the error message we will get. I'm giving 8 gig RAM, 4 virtual processors, 60 gig hard drive, and we're gonna power it from a download image. It's a typical Windows installation window, similar as Windows 10, what you have. Click install, install now setup program is starting so they are asking your production key but I don't have one you can pick the version home version education version pro version you just pick a pro version you can tell this PC cannot run Windows 11 because it, this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirement it won't let you go for the next step as said, we're gonna using Windows 11 upgrade 
this small program we download from GitHub project to do this installation. So I have a working Windows 10 environment right now in my VMware workstation. What I'm going to do, I'm going to double click run Windows 11 upgrade or you can use a right click to choose run as administrator. And then we're going to choose Windows 11 ISO file which I already copied on the desktop. You can easily just choose it. We got three options upgrade which will keep your apps and data and or you can choose data only but without any apps gonna keep it you also can choose clean install I always choose clean install so let's see what's happened as I said there are many ways you can bypass in this minimum system requirement change the register key or using the Windows 10 image file this is another way using a small program to help you to do the installation by passing those uh, limitation or restriction from the Windows installation wizard. As you can see, we successfully launched the Windows 11 setup program. It's checking for update. It says Windows 11 setup need to restart for them to work, but actually you don't have to restart your program, it will automatically launch it. It's checking your PC, now it's a magic thing gonna happening. We didn't get any minimum system requirement error message. So it's already passing the system verification. So we are good to go to get the updates and then starting to installation. Let's wait a bit and I will show you the initial installation steps then I'm gonna stop and after finish the installation I will show you the final how it Windows 11 looks like again I will post all links how you can download Windows 11 image and how you can get Windows 11 upgrade that small program from GitHub into this video's description please check out Finally, the system has completed the installation and it's booting up. That's our final restarting. We still have some configuration step need to be done before we can get into the desktop. We are going to face some small challenge on the keyboard and the mouse when we are configuring. Uh, it's still installing. So during the installation, it's gonna prompt you to say your PC gonna be restart several times. This may take a while. Um, so this is normal. So just let it run. It may take 20 to 30 minutes to get everything finished, depending on your computer's performance. I will come back once the system finished the installation. Finally, we are getting this configuration window. So you can tell since we didn't install any VMware tools, so the mouse moving is working well. Uh, we can use our keyboard to finish those configuration. Using tab key to move between those uh, options. Yes, skip. Let's skip for now. We are trying to skip all configuration as much as we can. Eventually, when we get into the Windows desktop, Windows 11 desktop, we will install VMware to set up for personal usage. We just go to the sign-in options. There's an offline account and skip for now we're gonna put the test one as a um, username test one as password same password security questions
so that configuration has been complete Windows is doing last setup and then it will bring the desktop to you in probably two minutes after that we're gonna install uh, VMware tools to get this complete setup for our VMware workstation if you are using your physical machine you shouldn't experience anything issue like I'm experiencing because without VMware tools the mouse and the keyboard usually not working that well after two minutes waiting we log it into that hot desktop um, we can uh, install VMware tools um, as you can see the mouse still not function normal um, we use in Windows plus E launch our Explorer so we already have DVD drive mounted our VMware tools ISO file that's uh, run using the mouse doesn't work but uh, using the keyboard up down tab so then you can choose the setup 64 file and run this VMware tools after that your system will have better experience with your VMware tools next next install it will require your system to be rebooted once once you finish the installation now the desktop has maximized and the mouse still not function very well but that's fine so we're gonna reboot it after rebooting we will take a final look at the desktop and I will show you the system properties and we will know the version of the, our Windows which is latest Windows 11 version we downloaded from the Microsoft uh, downloading website the speed is, um, is very good um, we need to enter the password we get back into the desktop again let's take a look at system so as you can see we have 64-bit operating system we are running on Windows 11 Pro version 21H2 installed on November 9th the OS build is 22000.318 so we successfully installed let's say upgraded our Windows 10 to Windows 11 without getting any restriction hardware restriction from the installation wizard I hope you like this video I hope you can get better idea how to install Windows 11 for your legacy hardware if you like my video give me a thumb up subscribe my channel thank you for watching